Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the art tutorial thing that I'm trying to make. And here, I want to teach you about digital art. But I don't have an iPad. And I'm telling you this because everybody is using an iPad nowadays. Because it has Procreate which has the greatest power in the digital art world but 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 if you want the greatest power it will cost you your best friend cause uh, you are probably going to sell his or her kidney to buy the ipad <coughs> but but what are you going to do if you are a loner and introvert like me who doesn't have any friends and no friends means no money cause no kidney then you will probably have to consider other paths like android which comes with not one but two absolute gods number one is our beloved ivis paint x and number two is my personal favorite the autodesk sketchbook and uh, there are many more but uh, i'm not going to talk about them in this video now IBIS Paint is really good, it has so many tools, absolutely free, does have a little bit ads but it's okay, I guess they have to feed their families too. And then there's Autodesk Sketchbook, it's smooth, it's easy to use, it has a simple interface and this is my personal favorite. And I've been using this for an eternity now, so today I'm going to teach you how you, yes you, can make an absolute masterpiece using Autodesk Sketchbook. They have recently launched their premium plan but it just provides you with some extra brushes and some filters and you don't need that. So now even if you can't draw a proper circle, you can do it in digital art. Just use the predictive stroke in Autodesk Sketchbook and it will literally make any random shape into a proper circle just like this look at the circle so before we start to make a proper drawing if you are using an android tablet you can go on but if you are attempting to draw on your phone first of all you are brave which is really good but you need to make a basic sketch on a paper first and then use it as a reference in Autodesk Sketchbook. Like this. Just click a photo of your sketch. Then add it in a layer of Autodesk Sketchbook. Lower the opacity. Add another layer over it. And draw on it. It will help you to make a better line art. But in a tab, you can make the sketch directly. Because you have a bigger screen. Use that. I have a tab also. So here I'm making a sketch. I'm going to draw a figure. So I'm using a circle for the head, a weird random shape for the body, lines for limbs and small small little little circles for the joints. So as I told you, to make a beautiful circle, use this curvy line tool. You can set the level also. Level 5 is a bit annoying. Don't use it. Use 3 or 4. See? Even if you make an outline of a map, you can convert it into a pretty perfect shape. So now, you are ready to make a detailed sketch over your shitty sketch. Like this. Just add another layer. Lower the opacity of the previous layer. And draw on the new layer. This new sketch also doesn't need that many details because you are going to make a perfect line art over it like this and after completing the line art it should look something like this okay so now you are done with the sketch so here comes the fun part the coloring part now I like to color my drawings with this tool it's called magic wand and it's really helpful. Just draw any closed shape, select the area inside, see? Now you can color anywhere, but the color only will be applied inside that perfect shape. 
or you can just use the color filling tool and fill it the color filling tool works without the magic wand too but it leaves this annoying gap between so i don't use it and i also fill the small areas manually because it's satisfying after coloring it's time to give the drawing a little depth and for that i'm going to add shadows okay i know for most of the beginners it's the hardest part but this thing needs experience the more you draw the more you know about shadows and where to put them you can also use references or just think of a light source and try to imagine the positions of shadows and after adding the shades look at the difference it makes and because i added the shadows in a different layer i can adjust its opacity and make the shadows darker or lighter now i'm adding a background from google editing it a little bit so that no one can realize that i took it from google and wow look at the masterpiece Now I'm going to post it on Instagram and get some likes and you can do the same but before that subscribe to my channel like this video and share this to your friends so that they can get some insta followers too and if you don't do so hmm your second at the rate in Instagram will sell your kidney to get an iPad